hi hello welcome welcome back to another video so today we are gonna be going through some of my favorite art books some of the only ones i own actually all of them are so yeah let's get into it also yeah someone last were i don't know this was a while ago someone asked if i was double jointed and i found it really really funny because it was like a really random comment but yeah my my thumbs do this and my fingers do that and that no weird comments please okay we're gonna start strong we're gonna start like the strongest we've ever started before so yeah this is the steven universe art book i love this show i don't know i watched it as a kid and it's just like it has such i don't know a fond place in my heart and like rewatching it as an adult is like you know it's so heartwarming but yeah it's like one of my first like really big inspirations in terms of art i really like this book because it has like so many sketches it doesn't just have like finished art but it has a lot of oh, where are my favorite pages it has a lot of like concept sketches and i personally like to see like a lot of the like you know in between process even if it's just like writing because that is the part that i'm most interested in is like concept art and all that jazz and preliminary sketches and kind of just like how they got to the final product is probably like the most interesting to me and I just like, I don't know, I just really like this art style. It's just really, really, really cool. So yeah, I don't know how much I can show of this before getting some sort of copyright strike. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of just want to like sit down and reference some of these more because I feel like, you know, copying is like a really good way of learning. Obviously not copying and like posting it, but like, you know, copying it and just referencing it yourself just for your own art is I feel like how I kind of just like managed to i don't know grow my skill a lot like in the first couple years especially of like drawing this is sick <laughs> so i feel like if i just had like a sketchbook this is the type of stuff i like it's like the really rough beginning sketches is what i mean this is so sick is this blurry no it's not <laughs> But yeah, like just to sit down and like reference some of this stuff and like try directly copying it just to see like what happens. Cause I feel like I'm so interested in like these shapes and structures, but I never really, you know, try to break it down by actually drawing it. And I feel like, like my brain understands what it is, but my hand doesn't. And I feel like I just, I need to make like some sort of copying book. <laughs> okay, that's enough of this. The copyright strike is coming. They wouldn't sue me. I love them. <laughs> okay. Second one is this book, The Art of House Moving Castle. I got this one as a gift, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's quite it's quite thick. There's a lot in it, but a lot of this is just like summarizing like the actual movie. And I do love this movie, but that's kind of just like not the part that I'm as interested in. I still really, really like this book. And there's still really like something really cool about just seeing the frames like this and being able to like analyze individual frames but yeah my favorite part is like you know these sorts of sketches let me find my favorite page but yeah where's my favorite page okay these are some of my favorite pages it's the first section of this book and it kind of just like walks you through a bunch of like preliminary stuff with some storyboarding Ooh, okay, this is one of my favorites. It's not my favorite though. This one's my favorite page. Like, what? <laughs> this is just gonna be me fangirling. This is just me exposing myself, but yeah, I'd love to just make something like this loose. That's still like legible. But I just look at it and I just, I just scream inside. <laughs> so yeah, thank you to my friend who got this for me. It's very cute and I love it dearly. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into the... So we have a couple books that I just kind of found. Ugh, I just <laughs> I found at, um, a book sale at my school. So we have these ones and this guy. I don't know how to do this. Let's just start with the big boy first. So yeah, this book and the other two that I'm going to show soon are our schools just kind of having like a general like book sale thing. And they had quite a lot of books that were like really really cheap. Like I think I got this. This is like a thick book thick book <laughs> and i got it for like five bucks so no flex <laughs> but i'm saying it's not really like an art book i guess but it does have 
like a lot of i don't know photos and um art and stuff like that. okay well i guess i'm just kind of explaining what an art book is but don't don't come for me okay a lot of photography and stuff like that i haven't actually read any of any of the writing i know there's pages of writing in here like this some of it is in french i think it's one column french one column english i i don't i don't read french <laughs> but yeah i don't really know what the text is talking about i just bought it because i was so inspired by like these little i don't know just like the line work and the colors of it all like this is kind of like just like my color inspiration book like <laughs> if you like i don't know if you just look at the front first of all i was like oh yes that that screams me that's <laughs> that's so me so yeah i don't know it's just it's just really sick i would not have bought this for whatever first price it would have been but it is cool to see like i don't know to get something cheaper for like indirect inspiration you know i guess it just mentions a bunch of artwork and stuff maybe i should read it sometime oh yeah this is like a pretty big poster i don't really want to unwrap a lot of those that's what that is <laughs> So yeah, pretty sick. I love it. Thanks, school. <laughs> oh yeah, and then these two are also books that I got. Let me just throw this one. Oh my god, that's thick, heavy, and I have no upper body strength at all. So yeah, this one is a book about sketching. It has a lot of text that talks about. Um, sorry if I'm flipping through too fast, but it has a lot of like text that talks about sketching, sketching practices, stuff like that. It's a lot of like pencil work embedded in between. It has like these, these pages, which is one of the main reasons I bought it. Just for like these visual references. I like books that are like indirectly, like they're not fully art books, but they're still like, you know, that limerick of it. <laughs> Let me show you some of the watercolor stuff. Like, I think this is sick. This is kind of like what I was talking about before where I just wanted to get like looser, you know? But this is a lot of like um, observational sketches and like painting from observation and stuff like that. So I think that's something that I also don't really do a lot, but I do admire it. <laughs> and then this book, oh yeah, I got this for like $3. And then this one I also got at this cool thing. I think I got it for like $2. But... But yeah, these are like, I don't know, kind of why I'm mentioning the prices on the last three is that they're not really books that I would like go out and like actively look for. But because they were like cheaper, it like, you know, they seemed like things that I could afford to get, you know, because it's just kind of like looking like you could find photos like this online. But it's not necessary to get a book. That's why it's kind of just like, do I want to buy it? I don't want to buy it if it's like, it doesn't seem like a cost that can be justified unless it's something like i don't know like the first book i showed you where it's something that i'm really really into but like this artist it's i think they're like an artist or a poet but i don't know them at all their art is weird and i love that <laughs> so yeah i just kind of look at it just for shapes textures lines every now and then like i just feel uninspired and some some of these books have something specific so the other one is like i'm specifically looking for like color inspiration this one can work for that too but i mostly just use this for like shape inspo because there's a lot of like really interesting abstract shapes here and i am kind of getting into like abstract art in a way so it is nice to have a book that's just generally less um representational you know yeah <laughs> okay next one is this anatomy book <laughs> this is the only one that i do own i bought this for a class like it wasn't necessary to buy it but um i don't regret buying it it says 20 here i think i got it well 20 us but i think i did get it for like 15 canadian though that's not like how the rate exchange works between currency but i think i just got it at a discount at this bookstore which is good because I, I was looking for the book because my prof recommended it. So I was like, oh yes, let's check this out. And I don't have an anatomy book. I like this one specifically because it has a lot of sketches from like the actual um, author of this book. It has a lot of like written um, descriptions of the actual like poses and breakdowns of like how the bones and stuff work, which is interesting, but it also has like actual drawings. Like that. 
And sometimes for me, it's easier to reference a drawing than to reference like an image. So I do, like I like seeing how other people break it down and it helps me make sense how to break it down. Yeah, photos, you know, all that jazz. Oh my God, the pelvis, stop. I've drawn so many pel pelvises, pelvis, pelvis eye. It's not even funny anymore. Knees. Okay, moving on. <laughs> and then this one, which I love so dearly, is um, by an artist who went to TCAF, was at TCAF last year, which is the Toronto Comic Art Festival Fair? Art Fair? I don't know, the Toronto Arts Comic. Toronto Comics. <laughs> you get what I mean. Sur just search up TCAF, you'll know what it is. But yeah, their name is Jeannie, and I think they're like ah uh, it's literally just gd which is correct based on the way that i said it the first time but yeah it's just a book on all of these um all these like fashion illustrations that they did and they're so fucking cool i told you i was like getting into like sci-fi this is giving some sort of like sci-fi-esque you know like fantasy like outfits and all that and i'm like very into like fashion illustration but yeah well not like traditional fashion illustration but i just find stuff like this really really cool and this person was really really cool and they were really really nice and i will keep on saying things twice that rhymes my brain is melting <laughs> but yeah this is really cool i'm hoping to go to tcap this year also it's in may i don't know when this video will be up by but yeah i don't know because i don't really regret spending money if it's going towards like a small artist who's like you know who has like their own business because i know the money is going directly to them and not to like some sort of bigger company but yeah should i bring all the books so you can see them all together <laughs> this is a mess but yeah the color book i like how when my friend saw me because i this was this was a mess to bring home like this is so thick i think it's it's probably my heaviest book actually because my arm kind of hurts but well i also have a bad shoulder so i guess that doesn't really say anything but <laughs> yeah my friend just saw me pull it out of my locker and i was like oh yeah i need to i need to take this home and she was like uh-huh <laughs> like this is so you and i was like thank you thank you for that because it is so me but yeah slightly out of frame. Maybe I'll just show the titles. I don't know if this is the title or if this is the person. The title is, it has a golden sun and an elderly gray moon. I should read this book because I have no idea what it's actually about. And I think I'm not using it in the intended way, but that's part of the fun. Yeah, and then Howl's Movie Castle, and then of course Steven's Universe. Because no one can stop me. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven books. I'm classifying these all as art books. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Fight me. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for watching. Thank you for listening to me blab. Oh, also, someone a while ago tagged me in their TikTok. And it was so cute. So, yeah, if you guys have art or something, you can tag me. I'm not as, like, active on TikTok because, I don't know, TikTok's a very toxic place. And I just... I fell out. I'm choosing to love myself instead. <laughs> but every now and then I'm on there. I'm on there. I peruse sometimes. I don't have as bad as a scrolling addiction. But I peruse, okay? So yeah, you can tag me on there. You can tag me. I don't know if you can. Can you tag people on YouTube? Maybe. I don't know if you guys would be uploading videos. I don't think that's as popular as just like having, casually having like a TikTok or an Insta. But yeah, tag me on whatever. I'll see it. I'll see it for sure. And I do want to see them, so if I don't see it, then you can just harass me in my DMs and I will go look at it. <laughs> but yeah, tag me like in your stories or your posts or something, and yeah, I'd love to see your art, so... Bye! <laughs> Thanks for watching, and... How did I end my videos before? Like, comment, like, like, comment, subscribe. Did I say that already? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe to support this channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mind frame, yeah. Bye. <laughs>